Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and today I will show you how to put the device into recovery mode. So to get started let's pull down the notification panel and tap on the power key right here. And this will allow us to select power off once more and the device will now shut off. And once it's off what you want to do is hold power key and volume up, both of those keys at the same time. So let's do that right now, power, volume up. And when you see the Samsung Galaxy logo, you can simply let go. And you should now be in recovery mode. So in here you will need to use volume keys to navigate. Volume down goes down, volume up goes up, and power key will be used to confirm whatever is selected with that blue line. So as you can see, you can reboot system now, which simply goes back to Android. Reboot to bootloader, which I assume actually might go back to where we are right now, recovery mode. Uh, or it will go to fast boot, I'm not exactly sure, uh, one of those two. Uh, then you have apply updates from either ADB or SD card, uh, wipe data factory reset which is, well, performs the reset of the device, uh, wipe cache partitions, uh, mount and new systems, uh, view recovery logs, run graphic tests, run local tests, just testing a bunch of uh, components of the device and simply power off the device. So. Whatever you select, you will then need to confirm it with power key, like I said. So I'm gonna... I want to leave this mode, so I'm gonna select reboot system now, confirm it with power key, and automatically it reboots. Now, in certain cases, uh, you, you might need to confirm it by selecting something, for instance, like yes. Um, so you scroll down to yes, then power key that. Uh, but in terms of a reboot, it's just a simple press power key and it reboots. And there we go. So we're now back in Android. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.